I'm not crazy about all the default settings in Excel charts. So every time I make a chart in Excel, I have to make a ton of small adjustments. But eventually, I gave in and I started making custom templates for my charts and saved a ton of time. Let's take a look at how we do this. I'm gonna start out with an Excel default line chart. Insert that. Okay, now there's a lot of things that I change always. First of all, I'm gonna move my legend. Second of all, I hate the axis right in the middle of the chart. So I'm gonna move that down, ticks lower. I also like for you to be able to tell where the middle line is, so I'm gonna thicken my axis line. Okay, great. So you have a, a company color or something you wanna use for all of your charts. You can change the background color. I'm gonna change my text to white and make it a little bit bigger all around. Also, I'm gonna need a title. Make that larger, make it white. And I'm gonna change these lines. I'm gonna change this to match the company colors that I'm using. I'm gonna make my other line black. I also wanna make my other line dotted so that people can print this from a black and white printer and still be able to see it. Okay, I also can insert a logo or something and then have it show up on all of our charts anytime I make them. So let's put that in the corner. Okay, and so let's say this is what I want all my charts to look like or at least all the charts I create like this. So I'm gonna right click, save as template, and I'm gonna give it a name that I know every time I make this type of chart. So I'm gonna say cumulative and save. Great, so now if I go back to my data I want to look at the S&P versus consumer discretionary. Let's say I just use the standard line chart again. This is what it'll look like. Again, obviously this is not what I'm looking for. So I'm going to click other and scroll down and I can see my template right there at the bottom, cumulative. And I can click on that and it will change my chart to my new style. I might have to make a few adjustments. Um, and obviously any text I'm gonna have to change because this is just a template for the styles. And then I very quickly created another chart that's formatted exactly like my template so that I can save myself a ton of time. Don't forget to subscribe for more Excel tips and tricks.